It is the American Express Halftime Report, CP3. Looking to put himself in the conference final 15 in a big first half. Rockets on top by eight at home. Welcome inside our studios. It is Studio J here in Atlanta. Casey here with you for Ernie. He's up at uh, the Emmys tonight. We've got Chuck, Kenny the Jet Smith, and Shaq, who is hanging out with uh, presidents today. Right, Shaq? That's what I do. That's what you do? What were you doing today? Don't worry about what I'm doing. Clinton. Oh, man, I love President Clinton. Man, we miss you. <laughs> now, what, what were you we doing? Miss you, Top secret? No, we had to do a charity event uh, this morning myself, Dominique, a couple other friends, and the uh, president was there. You didn't get a chance hey, to change Chuck, either, huh? I saw my boy. He started laughing as soon as he saw me. Who? Rafael Nagara. Uh, Rafael Nagara. <laughs> <laughs> it's an old joke. Yeah. You know, I, you know anytime, you meet, the as as anytime you meet the president, it's pretty cool. I got yeah, to meet him. He's a nice guy. Yeah. yeah. You know, obviously, we know there's been a lot of attention paid on James Harden, CP3, how deep they would go, how they'd play in big games. Let's get to the American Express halftime teammates. And we look at how the two have performed in this closeout game. Paul with 15, 5 of 9. He's hit 3 from a three-point land, 6 assists as well. He had 7 turnovers in game 1 since then, 21 assists, Shaq, 3 turnovers. What are you seeing from Chris Paul? Well, you know, Chris Paul, you know, he has the ability to take over the game. Uh, obviously, he's the 2 of the 1, 2 points. So whenever James not, is out of the game or James not doing what he's supposed to do, Chris Paul has this ability. Uh, yes, he's older, but he's a master of, you know, getting to his spot right there. He's messing around, and, you know, he's been killing it. And he's anxious to get here. You know, he knows that uh, this is his opportunity to make it to the next round. He's never been to the, to, to the uh, you know, uh, uh, conference final, so it's his chance to get there and, you know, face a mighty Golden State team. And if they can get past Golden State, it'll be his first finals. He's on his way out. And as a player, when you haven't been that far and you get the opportunity to, to win and try to win a championship, it's a big thing. So I know he's going to do his part to, you know, help the team move forward. Kenny, what do you think of the play from CP3 last couple of games? What are you seeing? It's good. I, I think it's playing well. I think overall, though, watching the game tonight, this was at the pace for uh, Utah in the first two quarters until the last minute and 30 seconds. And then they, they went on an 8-0 run. You, you want to keep them at a 104, 108 game. Not 108, 100 game, 104. But when now you start getting a 110, 115, 120, that was the difference. You had you had them locked down, and then all of a sudden you just didn't make the the adjustment on the defensive end, and it was just just finding guys in transition. When you play in the Houston Rockets, you have to you got one guy pointing, but you got to have two or three guys pointing. I got ball, you take wing. Everybody should be talking at this point, and Gobert kind of gets hung up, and, and, and now he's on PJ Tucker. So all of a sudden, when Chris Paul comes off of the off of the screen. He's wide open because he doesn't want to – he's playing the lane and doesn't allow him to come back out. And again, Chris Paul again, he, you set the screen with, PT, uh, with Tucker, freeze it again. He's playing the lane, which is really no man's lane be, with the Rockets because they're not shooting twos. They're shooting layups or they're shooting threes. So you have to decide one or the other, and then you stay in no man's land too long. The rotation doesn't come because he can't leave James Harden, and all of a sudden it's over. You have to just pay attention to the detail, stick to the game plan, knowing that the Rockets are only shooting twos and layups and threes. They're not – they're taking a small percentage of in-between shots. Yeah, and I was a little disappointed in the Rockets, to be honest with you. They didn't come out with a sense of urgency. They played strictly at Utah pace. They made a little 8-0 run to get the lead. But when you got a team down, you know, like, let's come out with great energy. Let's get our crowd in the game so we can have almost a week off to get ready for the Golden State Warriors. Because you know the Warriors are going to win tonight. The Warriors, they're going to try to get the series over as quick as possible to give Steph some rest. Uh, but the Rockets, to me, I don't like their energy. And I want to see this first five minutes. Because oh, Utah don't think they can win this series. And the Rockets come out, jump on them really quick. It'll be over. Quick and painless. No Rubio, no Exum. Donovan, obviously, Jet trying to do a lot by himself. What do you want to see? They're probably going out tonight. But what do you want to see from, from Donovan specifically? In the well, I don't know if they're going out. I'm not going to give them that. I, I just think overall, when Exum was in the game, he just was allowing uh, – um, Donovan to not be seen all the time. You could put him at the baseline, you could put him on the wing, and then you could put him out front. So what Raul has to do is he has to create those opportunities, not by scoring, but just to get him in different areas of the floor. And, and, and the pace is actually pretty good until the last minute 30. This is the pace they wanted to play at. So they're in the game, and they have a great opportunity to send it back to Utah and scare him. See, the thing is, man, the Rockets got to quit screwing around. 
uh, when Chris Paul and James Harden, when they get that switch, it's like they think they're playing for the Globetrotters. They're out there just taking it between their legs and taking their time. That won't work in the, in the next round. I mean, you, you, you know the Warriors are not going to let them play like that, and you're never going to slow the, uh, the Warriors down. So they, you have to think about the big pitch, and I think sometimes the Rockets don't think like that. All right, this comes in on uh, Twitter before we get out here. Redwood, big Shaq changing the game with the polo under the blazer. Shaq polo, get it right. It's so it's a Chipolo? Yeah, it's a Chipolo. Chipolo? Do your thing, big fella. Chipolo. It's a Chipolo. Do it your thing, big with fella. The gray, with the gray, oh, okay. The gray on gray. There you go. Rafael Macaro. <laughs> <laughs> Mexico's great. Yeah, I love that. Man. That is awesome, Alex. Bro, you know that joke? Like that joke. Dude, if you're going to apologize, you should apologize.